Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out another custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8 and this time we have Pixel OS based on Android 14. So I'm not really a big fan of Pixel OS or Pixel Experience ROM because they are not better than other ROMs and also they are lack of features and many things actually involved with those things. So I have used a lot of those ROM but this one actually doing pretty well and there are a few new things add to the ROM and which I really like although still it has like lack of features but it is working perfectly fine so we are going to find out what's going on with this ROM first of all as you can see it's based on Android 14 and it's a pixel ROM so pixel ROM and a pixel experience ROM has difference actually so pixel experience ROM is based on AOSP and pixel OS is actually borrowed from the pixel devices so it has a little bit more feature than pixel experience ROM sometimes so they include some core feature of pixel devices to the ROM so that's why this ROM is a little bit different than that one so going with the device it's running on Android 14 so everything is like the UI and everything is like Android 14 and the launcher here is actually pixel launcher but now I'm using a Nova launcher here because I kind of bored with the pixel launcher and I just don't want to use that one anymore so I'm using a Nova launcher and I like customize it as I like and you can do that too. So going with the setting first, let's check what's going on with the device. So about phone and if we go, as you can see, it's based on Android 14 and security patch level is December 5, 2023. So I've been using this ROM for uh, weeks or more now. So that's why it is from the last. Maybe they have released a new version of it. Anyway, I will put the link of the ROM in the description below, the updated one, so that you can flash. And this device, this ROM does come with uh, GF, so no need to flash GFs separately. So going with other things, as you can see, pure, uh, what it called, AOSP look here. So there is nothing new here and there. But one thing which actually included in Pixel OS is that we are getting Xiaomi parts option, which is really good for this device particularly because it is having a, a pretty bad skin retention. So it can be reduced a little bit with to, uh, like using this settings so if you have this device you can try these settings to reduce the skin rotation issue I'm going with other things like uh, in the network setting and hotspot setting and uh, if you go if you if you is like turn off the extended cap uh, capability it will enable the 5 gigahertz band so that's quite good also and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data and everything, those are working perfectly fine, there is no issue. I haven't found any issue with those things and there is nothing new here and no feature at all with this ROM. Just uh, you can do few things here and there maybe, which are available with all the Android 14 based ROM. And even you are not getting any kind of like tweaking to change the icon and anything like that. So those things are not available on Pixel OS not in pixel experience rom so that's why actually i avoid using pixel os or pixel experience rom because they have like lack of feature and also they are not really that great like better than other roms like evolution x or c Android or Dreyfus rom those are doing pretty good and even better than these roms but uh, going with other things these roms the like does come with another thing which is miui camera so now you can think about that if you can use Google exp uh, Google camera, why you need MIUI camera? Actually, it has a lot of benefit. Like you can shoot 48 megapixel uh, picture with that. And also you have micro lens. You can use micro lens. And also sometimes like uh, you will have some issue with the Google camera. Like it folds close sometimes. It sometimes doesn't work as you like. But most of the time MIUI camera will work perfectly fine. You will not have any issue. Going with other things, the ROM is pretty smooth. The animation is pretty smooth and everything works perfectly fine as you see here. And also the notification panel is pretty much similar as a SP ROMs and you can put like Wi-Fi and individual Wi-Fi and Bluetooth option. That's also here. Uh, one thing which I have noticed that it's not really good about this ROM is if I open Play Store, uh, the Play Store is a little bit choppy. Uh, I don't really know why is that because the UI is pretty smooth. But whenever I go to the Play Store, the Play Store like is let me let me show you what I'm talking about. So 
it like lag a little bit so let me connect to my wi-fi so it is still not connecting let's turn it on and turn off okay okay it's connected now so let me show you what i'm talking about so i'm going to the play store uh okay if i go to play store now if i if you as you can see it is lagging like that this store is lagging for some reason it is a little bit choppy as you can see so i have found this issue only with play store nowhere else even in the facebook and other everywhere working just fine i haven't faced any kind of issue on facebook and other things so only with the uh, Play Store, there is few like that choppiness is there, and you will see few lags here and there. That's completely uh, acceptable with custom ROMs. Rather than that, also if you don't flash like Magisk, you can use bank apps. Those two you will ha not have any issue. And one another thing about this device, Face Unlock is working perfectly fine here, as you can see here. Face Unlock does work. If I show you, okay, double tap, and it is a little bit slow. But it does work perfectly fine. You will not have any issue actually. Also, the fingerprint is working perfectly fine here too. So, kind of really good ROM. If you like, really don't want any kind of customization, this one can be a very good ROM for you. And I will put the link of this ROM in the description below so that you can flash. And one more thing uh, I want to say. So, many of you are asking me how to flash the ROMs or why they when they flash the 114 based ROM that it doesn't flash. There is one reason is that Android 14 based ROM you cannot flash with the recovery you are using for Android 13. You have to flash separate recovery image which can flash Android 14 based ROM. So I will put the link in the description below so you can download the recovery and other things and can flash the ROM. So that's all about Pixel OS. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.